Favourites Barrier One. He's a flashy sort of a horse fixation. Nice big chestnut. Ready to go. Racing, oh, he half ball, he half bomb the start off the inside fixation. Had a bit of a ping in the air when the gates open. He'll recover be back about fifth or sixth early. Waterboy was the first to go. Leads from Manasero in tents. Balmoral Baby scooting up on the outside and unbowed going around them and fixation driving along the fence. Hard tickets very deep as they head to the back and so too Casarati followed by Lauda Brun and Solo Saga. Then comes Moon and the Stars and Rock the Pack as last. Into the back, 1,100 metres left to go and unbowed about to run to the lead. Waterboy a half length away and he's inside. A length further back then to Casarati and Hard tickets out a little bit deep and Manasero's fifth on the fence. Two to fixation, getting a good run at a good clip here on the inside of Tents and two and a half, Balmoral Baby. Solo Saga's on the rail, two and a half, the loud of Brunham, but there's good clip on here. They followed them by Rock the Pack and Moon and the Stars went to the tail. Down the side, 700 metres left to go. It's Water Boy and Unbow. They're still matching motors here. They're the best part of three in front of Manasero and the inside of Casarati. Uh, they followed then by Hard Ticker out deep on the track. Fixation needs to get off the fence as they approach the corner. They're Followed by Tins Balmoral Baby. Laura Brunnen about to get to the outside from Solo Saga. Rock the pack. And Moon and the Stars. They're coming around the bend. Waterboy and Unbowed headed up for home from Manasero Casarati. Oh, Tins came out and gave Laura Brunnen a whack. And Fixations trying to go through to the 200 metres mark. Casarati Manasero. Laura Brunnen joining in quickly on the outside. Now Tins trying to go with him. But Laura Brunnen ran to the lead with 100 metres left to go. And he's starting to stretch away. Laura Brunnen went home to win well. Tint second, Casarati third, Manasero fourth from Moon and the Stars. The next time, Fixation, followed by Solo Saga. They're followed then by Unbowed, Rock the Pack, Waterboy, Belmoral Baby, and last time is Hard Ticker. Well, he carried out Robert Heathcote's instructions to perfection, Collis. He told him to keep him away from the fence, build his momentum coming into the race and keep him going, and that's exactly what he did. And he's won the money. Number five, Lauter Brunnen first. Trained by Robert Heathcote, ridden by Glenn Collis, and that will give Glenn a winning double. He won the first race today on Calendula. Second goes to number four, Tints, and three third, Casarati. And the numbers will read five, four, three after the running of race number five. Just waiting for that fourth number to go up. Tints came out in the straight and gave the winner a bit of a whack, but. Uh, Collis was able to keep it balanced and it went home well on the straight to win. So we're just waiting for the numbers to be semaphored after race five. For some reason, they're not there. Uh, but they will read five, four, three. I'm just trying to think back what ran fourth. Might have been Manasero, was it? Anyway, there's no numbers up as yet, so the, the semaphore board might be on the blink. OK, here's the replay of the race here. Uh, it'll be Manasero with the look of will it in fourth. Uh, that's him getting to the line fourth, and yeah, it'll be Manasero will wind up in fourth position. So I don't know what's gone wrong with the semaphore board, but there's nothing up there as yet. There's no times, no nothing, so they're gone on the blink. But we can uh, probably assume and confirm later that the numbers are 5-4-3-1 after the running of race number five.